Kelani vuse ni uma mam no baba ngo. You know, never tell us. Usanele, zaka ichaza na content. Yo. Hey guys, what it do? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited to be back. I know I went missing in action, but guess what? I am back now at creating content. I'm not gonna bore you guys with all the details of why I went missing in action, but I think the simplest and most precise reason is that I just needed time to reflect, regroup, and also I think work got a bit hectic and i just wanted to you know pour into my cup spiritually mentally physically and of course that's exactly what i did and that's why i'm back with the bang and i'm back and i'm stronger than ever i'm so so excited guys so please accept my apology for going awol especially the people that have always supported me supported this channel ever since we started i am back at creating content i hope you guys will accept my heartfelt sincere apology so without any waste of time i thought i'd come back you know and just hit the ground running with an unboxing that i wanted to share with you guys i wanted to share this very special moment with you guys especially the people that have seen me people that you know where know where i come from know, know where i started people that have always felt that they are inspired by usane levaloi um you know, people that have watched my journey from, you know, high school days, actually primary school days up until now, I wanted to share this special moment with you guys. I'm doing the most luxurious unboxing we'll ever do on this YouTube channel today. And we are unboxing. <laughs> we are unboxing my guys if i'm gonna have a little camera because i'm actually using the back of my camera so i'm not sure whether or not i'm in angle but we are unboxing my psycho certificate today the most luxury it doesn't get any more luxurious than this baby okay i just wanted to make this special and put it up on my youtube channel because ever since i got the certificate i've always thought you know what it'll be great lovely awesome to actually do an unboxing on my youtube channel i received this certificate a while ago actually invoice date is the 21st of april 2023 i think it got delivered around may but i've never unboxed it i've never opened it so i don't even know if my name is correct what if they've got the details wrong i know hey i know it's been this startup but we are unboxing it together with you guys today and i'm super super excited simply because this is just a validation from god that you know what black child it's possible it's possible you can if you can if you can dream it if you can think it you can make it your reality for me personally this this just means a lot to me this is a validation of my my all my hard work all my tears all my toil all my sleepless nights all the things that i've overcome some of the things that people have put me through along this journey that almost stopped me and hindered me from attaining this qualification this is just god saying that i will keep my promises so let's go ahead and unbox this baby my kids my kids my kids forgive me if i'm too loud you guys know me i'm a loud baby but today <laughs> I am more than more than excited. This is the commercial invoice I haven't shown you guys. It says Saika. Let's see. Maybe the, uh, this thing has my details. Um, okay. Maybe my address we can hide. So it's a commercial invoice from Saika, South African Channel of Accountants. If you guys want to know about my journey, um, I do have a get to know me video that has um, all the details of like, my qualification. How we got here and today we are in london baby so <laughs> i haven't seen my name written on this psycho certificate on anything that says psych we are qualified chatter accountants baby we are qualified chatter it's just so unbelievable you know yeah more than eight years of hard work guys so let's see we'll see eight years seven years of hard work 
in Zani Pepe. Oh my goodness, my goodness, what if I'm not an angle and I'm unboxing this thing? Okay, let's hope we are in angle. I think you guys will see it first because it's the front that's showing. This is my cycle certificate. Okay, no. <laughs> this is not the certificate. I'm lying. So this is, I guess, the box. The thingy, the wrap. Box wrap or whatever. Protecting the actual certificate. And the certificate is inside here, baby. So let's go ahead. Um, it says here, Saika. I'm sure you guys can see that. Let's go ahead. You guys will see it first. This is a very special. This is such a moment for me. Can somebody take a picture? I, I never checked. Okay. Still not the certificate. <laughs> okay. There is the certificate. details that I don't want to share not really okay so it says CASA certificates of membership this is to recognize that sweetness Sanele Baloi is a member of the Institute and became entitled to the designation Chartered Accountant SA in 2023 yeah, 2023. Nah, I'm go fresh. Given under the common seal of the Institute, Chief Executive Officer signed, Saika Chairman signed, Saika Making Difference Makers. This is it, baby. Can you see my name? The details are correct. Guys, what if I'm with details? I'm wrong. You're correct. I'm not going to speak to you inside. This is my certificate. I'm a chartered accountant. I, I don't even believe that I'm saying this. A chartered accountant. Sanele, sweetness. Sweetness, Sanele, but we see ASA. Yo, guys. This will never feel. It'll, it'll always feel so surreal. For me, always so surreal because this is a validation of my hard work, my dreams, me believing in, you know, deserving better, knowing that, you know, like I, I deserved better. This is proof that if you believe it, God can give it to you. Like I've already told you guys. And I obviously didn't want to bore you with all the challenges that I went through or whatever, because there's always going to be challenges. And it's, it's, it, it really sounds cliche that everyone, after they've attained or achieved something big for themselves, they always come and say, hey, but it's the truth, guys. It's the truth. You know, nothing good ever comes out of comfort. You have to get out of your comfort zone to achieve anything great. Um, this took seven years, seven years that felt like I was never going to get to the end of it. You know, like when someone starts ever city first year and you're like, hey, is this person ever going to qualify? And then once they see you start, start to get closer. Now, but no, we're going to try. If, even the devil, he strikes. He says, no, you're not going to get it. But God says, if you believe me, if you believe in my promises and you keep the faith, I will reward you for your believing. So this is it for me. A few things that stand out for me on this journey that challenged me and almost made me feel like, you know what? This, I'm, 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 I'm just, maybe the CASA thing is for certain people and I'm not one of those people. Okay, Vasanti was okay. I think Vasanti was challenging in a sense that maybe I didn't have as much as other kids had. And when I started Vasanti, I think a week after I started Vasanti, like, I just had a breakout. I don't even know what caused it. Um, but I was again a sinto, but it's clean. So a week after I started varsity, my skin was perfect. And then a week after I started varsity, I'll see if I still have the picture. And obviously, you know, like going to class where my, when my skin just looked like that, and it just made me feel like I'm not even looking forward to meet other kids. That was only in first year. 
I healed, um, I went through that and I, I got over it. And I think after that, you know, it, it had its ups and downs, mostly challenges just like getting work done. I'm not familiar with certain things. I'm not familiar with using a, la a laptop. I never owned a laptop until I finished my metric. Uh, you know, like I, I had to like try and get used to certain things, see like what other kids are doing, learn, um, be in an environment where I constantly have to speak English every single day. In the school and we was fun this English and this is guys, you know. So I'm not gonna hide that. But yeah, I did that. I did that. I completed in record time, like I've already told you, if it's an institution where at some point I never thought, you know, I was worthy or like deserving or even I just didn't see myself there. I thought ah, versus or nerds, you know, like there are certain kids that, you know, maybe kids from Model C schools and, you know, like private schools. I'm from a township school. Vets definitely, I don't qualify to go there. But God said, I qualify the unqualified. I, I, I graduated in record time. First year of articles was okay. 2019. I think, yeah, the first year of articles was okay, nice, you know, um, just getting a salary. I think I started my articles getting 13,500 rands as a first year trainee. Um, it was nice. I mean, it was nice to actually have money to be able to pay my own bills, get myself a place to stay, get myself a car. In South Africa, things were very affordable back then. And also getting like a Suzuki was not expensive. So it was really, really nice. Um, I just felt like, you know, I'm, I'm finally getting a reward for all the hard work that I've put. First year of articles, even at work, it was also nice. And then, end of my first year, um, I met a guy. I'm not going to speak about it on this video, but I met a guy. Those that know me from Facebook know um, this particular guy that I'm talking about that later almost ruined my life and almost turned it upside down, unfortunately that was that only happens now in second year at a time where um what i actually want to speak about the relevance of of this is so end of my second year which was in 2020 i'll never forget this year my goodness okay second year it starts to get challenging at work if anyone that 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 did audit articles or is currently doing audit articles i'll tell you you start to get challenged second year you know you start to question your passions, you know, like you start to question your choices. And it's like, okay, in the midst of that, there's an exam that we have to write. We have to write two exams to get this. This was now when I was preparing for my second exam in June on the 9th. My dad. <laughs> Woo! I lost my dad. And for me, being in a relationship with someone that was so opportunistic, someone that was just... Yo, I don't even want to, I don't even want to say much and call people names, but those that know me know, know that what that guy did, but he just made it worse. Going through losing my dad, I was so depressed. I went into depression. I, I didn't even think I was going to come out of that depression because at some point I went to bury my dad and then I came back. I tried to go back to work. A week after, I just had a breakdown. I collapsed. I... I, I just ended up telling my, my performance manager that I was, I, was, I, I, I was not coping. I got taken off a job. I had to take three weeks off work. And that was now eating into my annual leave. I went into a very dark space mentally. I, I was just like so depressed. I didn't see a way out. And then I decided there and then that I was not going to write the exam. This happened while I was still preparing for my first before my first actual um, mock exam, this happened and I was like, no, I'm out. I'm not going to be able to write this exam. Maybe not now. And I, I just feel like me, you know, grieving and accepting my dad's passing at this point takes priority over this. I just gave up. I'm not going to lie, guys. I gave up. I decided I was not going to write. This was the first time that I was supposed to write the exam. I just decided that I was not going to write. And then I didn't write. And then, yeah, I obviously, you know, at some point I had to get out of it. I had to remember who I was. And yo, 2020, like people that know me during that year, they know some of them that know me personally, that know what I went through. Also relationship, yo, 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 guys, I had to fight devils that year. Yo, 
And then, long story short, God is a promise keeper. Sometimes certain situations will just force you and cause you to surrender yourself. And until you surrender, you might go through challenges forever. And then I had to surrender. I had to invite God. I had to ask him to pull me out of that dark place. The next year, you know, I got back on my feet and then I, I went to write the exam. A lot of things happened even then. That December, I had a car accident. My car was written off. I could have died. Literally, the devil yeah, 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 was fighting me that, that second year, the following year when I wrote the exam. So those are like the most challenging things for me. Losing my dad, that 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 one villain, Amanji, Angava Poli, Amanama Mati, yeah, time heals, na na na, all that. Guys, I feel like hate certain things. There are certain things that just you just learn to live with them. So my dad's passing, that's how I feel even now. It'll always be a sensitive topic for me. And then I got involved in car crash. Fortunately, I came out of the accident unharmed because God said, not my baby. I came out of the accident unharmed, but I lost my car, which was also still challenging because I had not gotten my results back. And I remember how I gave it everything I had the second time that I wrote this exam. And I didn't write the first time, like I told you guys, I didn't write it all. I didn't sit for the exam. And then the other year I was just like, you know what? I either do this or I don't. If I fail now, I'm not going to continue. That means this thing, this CASA thing is not meant for me. Because I know like if I put my mind into something and I give it everything that I have, I can get it like i should get it and especially if i pray to god jesus said whatever you ask the father in my name he will give it to you you know so i know like as soon as i say father in the name of jesus we are getting this if i'm not getting it that's how i felt that year that's why i just had to give it my all and then you know i gave it my all got involved in a car accident i was waiting for my results my training contract got extended uh, just because obviously I fell off. I fell off when I was depressed uh, because of my dad's passing and a lot of things were going on. I was going through the most relationship pickling Chola, not David himself. It was a lot, guys, but at the end, it ended in CASA. It ended in CASA, baby. So it was not easy, shame, guys. It has not been an easy journey. That's why I wanted to share this with you guys. People that know me personally know that this was not easy for me, shame um we did it baby we did it it doesn't matter who thinks we are not deserving it doesn't matter who's questioning how how did this one become a ca hey <laughs> by grace i am what i am by the grace of god i am a chartered accountant so this is it baby this is it ah ah okay Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I was not intending for this video to be this long, but um, thank you so much for joining me. Um, till next time, you know, I'm going to start creating more and more content, especially this festive season, because we are going to, we are going to be home. Ah! I cannot wait, guys. It's been over a year. I can't wait, guys. Like, I don't, I'm not even in the mood to go out. Like, you know, I could, I, I could actually go out and do certain things and go out and be about, but I'm just over this. I'm over this. It's cold. It's gloomy. I can't even take nice pictures. So I'm just like, I can't I guess I'm in South Africa. So go get down, so give me yards and shake my ass on the yards. That's what I feel right now. I feel like I'm in the mood to go shake my ass on a yacht. And I'm so excited because it's been more than a year in London and I haven't been home. I miss you, South Africa. See you soon. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Let's see you on the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Tell me if you're inspired. Tell me if the, you know, like, just share your thoughts with me. And yeah, I hope you guys are keeping safe. Love you all. Bye. Next. Subscribe!